Cody McGraw and India Smith were last seen playing in their front yard. After an intensive search, their bodies are found abandoned in an overgrown cemetery. But there is precious little this sad and secret burial can tell investigators. You know, the bodies were examined. There weren't uh, crushed bones. There wasn't blunt force evidence. There wasn't trauma. There were bullet holes. You, you know, those kinds of things. Yeah, that one's going to take care The cause of death, as I recall from the um, person who did the autopsy, was undetermined. Investigators have only one suspect, the children's stepfather, Kevin Neal. He's currently incarcerated, serving time for sexual offenses in Indiana. With no obvious cause of death and a silent suspect, investigators return to the seed evidence found inside Kevin's home. Oh, it's a treasure trove. The plant evidence was, was significant in that we had found, you know, the seed on the clothing of Kevin and also the bedclothes or the blanket of, of Cody from the house uh, early on. Hoping to dig up a connection, a forensic botanist attempts to locate the same plants in the cemetery where the children's bodies were found. Investigators spend a full day on their hands and knees. They started finding some seed on their on their trousers. They actually located the plant and found more seeds on the ground in the area, and then actually located the plant, which was right in that area of where the bodies were. The forensic seed analysis was critical because it linked someone within the Neal household to the cemetery site where the kids were found. Unfortunately for us, the children were found almost two months after they were reported to have been disappeared. And forensic evidence tying the children uh, to the manner of death was limited. It all comes down to establishing a timeline. The children went missing on July 9th. Neil went into custody on July 23rd and the bodies of the children were found on September 6th. For investigators to make their case against Kevin Neal, they must absolutely prove that the children died sometime between July 9th and July 23rd, before Kevin Neal was behind bars. Investigators turned to Dr. Neil Haskell, an expert in forensic entomology. Oh, there we go, where's my eggs? The study of insects has long been a tool in determining time of death. Kevin Neal argues that the children could have died after July 23rd when he was incarcerated. Dr. Haskell finds one last piece of the insect puzzle, maggots. More specifically, the larvae of the cheese skipper fly. When we find, for instance, these cheese skippers, that would indicate that we are well past the initial and moderate portions of decomposition. Dr. Haskell has observed that cheese skippers don't show up until one to two weeks after death. Once the eggs are laid, they take 45 days to complete their final larval stage. That means these maggots indicate that it's been between 52 and 60 days since the time of death. And the day the children disappeared, July 9th, 60 days before they were found on September 6th. Based on the evidence from the screw worm and the cheese skipper, Dr. Haskell dramatically narrows the time of death to within seven days. According to insect activity, the children died before July 14th. Kevin Neal wasn't incarcerated until July 23rd. His alibi has just been destroyed. I follow the evidence wherever it leads. If it would have led us to a different direction, to a different person, we would have left Kevin completely alone. Um, but the fact is, every way we turned came back to Kevin. On June 8, 1999, Neil is found guilty of the murders of India and Cody.